All right, guys, so today we're doing a move called the Fake Out. Uh, here is what it looks like. That's the move, and here is a slow-mo. All right, so uh, basically what this move is, right, you look like you're going to do a Zen rollover, and then you fake them out, and you do this weird reverse index roll. So, um... Here we go. To get right into it, what you're going to do is you're going to start off by grabbing the safe handle in between, in this pen grip between your thumb and your index finger, where your thumb is grabbing um, right about maybe three quarters of the way up the handle, and your index is kind of along the safe handle here. And it's mostly pinching near to the end, basically. And your um, Last three fingers, you can see they're just kind of out of the way. My middle knuckle is like in between my two fingers there. I don't know if you can see that, but it doesn't really matter. You'll figure it out. Anyways, what you're going to do is you're going to start off in this grip here, and you're going to start with your palm facing towards you. So I'm kind of externally rotated, and my palm is facing towards me. And what you're going to do is you're going to turn your palm internally to make it face away from you. What that's going to do is it's going to generate some momentum, and the safe handle is going to fling out. So once again, right, you got this grip, palms towards you, and you're going to turn your palm to face downwards. And that's going to generate some momentum and fling out the handle. And of course, what you're going to, what's going to happen probably is when you do that is the knife is going to hit, and it's probably going to hit your knuckles because if you're used to doing the Zen rollover, your knife is starting out like this, and of course if the knife opens, it's going to hit your fingers. So what you got to do is you just got to do, instead of starting like this, you got to do a little bit of a twist. So you can see not vertical like this, I'm like doing a little bit of a twist. So when the knife opens, it's going to fly around and it's going to miss. It's not going to hit my knuckles, basically, right? So you can kind of get used to that. Anyway, so you palm up, you turn your palm downwards. At the same time, you do a little bit of a, a twist with the knife, and the knife is going to fling out. And so when you do it right, it'll look something like that. And where you want the knife to hit, is right in between my first and second finger knuckles. So the higher up, the better. If you hit way too low down, this move is going to be impossible. So you want to hit pretty high up on your finger, like that. And so you can just practice this, and once you get it, then you're good to go. So palm up, you twist and fling the knife out, and it hits in between your first and second knuckle, just like that. And of course, from here, right when it hits, you're going to release the knife is going to spin around your index, it's going to do one full rotation, and you're going to put your thumb in front of the safe handle, like this. And once you're caught with your thumb, you're just going to fling the knife back, and it's going to come, and you can move your thumb out of the way and close the knife like that. And so when you do it, when you do the whole move, right, you catch, and you just close it, just like that. So that's it. Um, one tip for this one is you can just do the regular index roll um, like this. And once you know the regular index roll, it's very easy It's very easy to just go backwards and do it reverse, right? And do this little fake out move. So that's it. Hope you guys like this one. Thanks for watching. Uh, peace.